don't don't care what Newsmax says and does at all, not one bit. But going to what I actually said, the reason I believe that people reacted that way is it's all about the children. The question they don't want us asking is where are all the missing children? What happens to these children? How can hundreds of thousands of kids go missing in the United States every year and nobody knows where they are? They just vanish? I don't think so. I mean, between facial recognition software, voice recognition software, and all the different ways to track people, how can we in this day and age not be able to find them? How can uh, hundreds of thousands of children have disappeared from the uh, records of CPS? You know, how can our child protective services you speak to anybody in the trafficking industry and they will tell you that CPS is involved. I'm working right now investigating a case where CPS has been involved with this trafficker for more than 20 years. Okay, targeting single mothers, taking them into courtrooms, taking their children from them and using their children for, uh, you know, for pedophiles, for sex rings, for um child porn, for snuff videos, and so on. You listen to Yako Boyens, who is one of the leading voices in the counter-trafficking movement, right? Because a lot of those organizations can't be trusted. But people like Yako Boyens, they can be trusted. And they will tell you that the United States is the number one destination in the world for sex trafficking, that every sex trafficking ring worldwide knows bring the kids to the United States, that this administration is participating in the trafficking of kids because they're paying uh, companies, LLCs and nonprofits and church groups, they're paying them to take these kids and yep. disappear them. And I mean, I interviewed a guy who worked in Homeland Security investigations for decades and he was at a contractor. And he said, we've been paid millions of dollars. I'm carrying kids to the ER. They've got broken bones. They've got COVID. They've got all kinds of illnesses. We, we clean them up and we put a Band-Aid on the problem. We go back and we get rid of them. They don't do checks. They hand them over to people. They could be sex offenders. They could be, uh, I mean, uh, hardened criminals. They could be illegal. They could be anything. And nobody even checks. They just get rid of these kids as fast as they can. And when it comes, you know, Politico, USA Today, I mean, a, a gazillion mainstream uh, outlets, including the report that you showed, have talked about the blood of young children being the secret to anti-aging. And why does nobody ask, where does blood come from? How do you get the blood of young children? And does it matter if the children are younger and younger and younger? So now you're talking, are you talking about the blood of babies now? Is that what you're talking about? No, we're fine doing articles that say, use the blood of, of young children to reverse aging. Or Yuval Noah Harari believes in transhumanism and that we will ascend to be gods and that most of the planet will be useless eaters and we don't need, but wait a minute, no journalist follows up and says, whose blood? Where do you get it? How much does it take? And how do you get the blood of babies? Or to Yuval Noah Harari, wait a minute, you're talking about genocide. You know, how do you, what, what do you mean the yeah. whole of Africa, the whole of India just about are going to be completely, have no meaning to their lives and they're going to be totally worthless. What does it mean when you say this?